it, it's got worse. You, I cannot believe this, right? Overwatch's monetization has got worse. So the gilded mythic aspects cost $20 and you need a fully upgraded mythic skin to actually unlock the $20 option to buy the gilded. It costs 20 mythic prisms. A mythic prism is $1. You do not earn enough mythic prisms in the battle pass to be able to buy these if you buy a skin. You have to unlock a skin, a mythic skin that is, to level four before you can even apply this aspect. It is the most disgustingly cheap diabolical monetization plan and i think this encapsulates the game's sort of approach towards let's just target whales and let's rinse them as much as possible because when you fire everybody associated with making actual new content sure you still make heroes blizzard and then you're always going to make heroes because heroes are the main vehicle to sell skins right new heroes bring new skins if they're certain types of heroes hey blizzard anyway let's move on from that because let's take a look at this right you fired all your team so all you've got left for content is let's just recolor mythic skins. The game is already a joke when it comes to recolors. And I, I am going a bit, I'm going in in this video. I absolutely am. I'm going in. I'm going in on Blizzard and Overwatch. There's so many recolors because they're so easy to do. The, the profit return on a recolor is astronomical because you've got somebody sitting there going, I'll just slide the hue slider. Woo, I've made a new color. Let's go. And then that skin is basically sold. You don't have to do any of the 3D modeling. There's none of that. None of the textures need any work. You're literally just changing the color of the pixels. It's so easy to do. And guess what? Because it takes you five seconds to do it, even if you only sell 100 of them, it doesn't matter because you've made that much profit. It's actually mind-blowing, right? That's the way this works. And this is a problem because you just keep stuffing them into the game and it's just crap. If this isn't what Blizzard was known for in the past. They were known for new content. But anyway, enough of that mad ranting because I want to show you this. So this is a... Mythic skin. Ryan Central. Now, that's a name I've not heard for a while <laughs> in the world of Overwatch. Hello, Ryan. See, everyone comes back to check a new season out in Overwatch, and they just log in and go, well, it's just skins. What the hell is this? And they leave. I'm sure that's what they do. Anyway, this skin, right, it's... Well, let's just go back, right, because this will this will this will explain it even more. So here we are in the Mythic shop, all right, and you think, okay, great. I, I can't actually buy the, the Gilded recolor for, for this skin because obviously i don't have the skin i definitely don't have it at level four but look at this i don't have a lot of the skins at level four you can see i've actually got quite a lot of mythic um currency there i know i've got a lot of, th of this as well that's because blizzard give out codes for the um premium battle pass so that's where that comes from you know i literally i plug the battle pass in and I get all that you can see i'm not spending it because i literally i'm not i don't care about skins anyway look at this right so we've got gilded hanzo let's say right I can unlock this because I've unlocked the tier 4 version. So I've spent 80 Mythic Prisms on this, right? Yeah, you can earn them through the Battle Pass, but you can't earn enough to then buy this because the Battle Pass has not increased in the number of Mythics, right? Or Mythic Prisms. Also, remember, there's Mythic Weapons as well to doubly rinse you even more. That's the whole idea in there. Another 80 Prisms, I believe. So look at this, right? This is $20. Now, you're, you're going to say, okay, well, it's only 20 Prisms. It's not. It's $20. So if you come to the shop here, we go, let's buy some of this shit, right? Look at this. This is £8.40 because obviously I'm in the UK. But in the US, it's $10, right? So it is $20 for 20 Mythic Prisms. We, I mean, oh, you can get a bonus, right? You can get a bonus if you want that. We don't want a bonus. So if you buy the 20 after you've finished the Battle Pass, because remember, 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 the only way to earn Mythic Prisms is through the Battle Pass. You cannot just earn them through playing the game, right? They are in the Battle Pass. There's a set amount every season. There is not enough Mythic Prisms to buy the Mythic Weapon, the Mythic Skin, the, the Gilded version of the Mythic Skin. I mean, the Mythic Skin fully upgraded so you can get the Gilded. And then potentially other Mythic Skins. Because, of course, you can buy Mythic Skins from previous seasons in the shop because that's how they roll. Although it's not from the season before. It's from the season before that because they want FOMO. Because that drives sales. And this is what's really pissing me off with this game, right? I sit back and I go, you know what, right? This game, Blizzard... You have made a game which is, nothing is like this game when it comes to the PvP. And I'm pretty sure there's devs out there that are absolutely loving this game, right? They're, they're pouring their heart and soul into it. They're giving us great updates. They're making sure the game's interesting to play. They, they add great kits to new heroes. They just make it fun, right? But there's nothing beyond that. The substance in the game is just, we've got a new way, a new currency, a new insane skin, a new collaboration with some company because we just need to rely on their brand identity now because we're not investing in our own brand identity. Now, this is a bit of a boomer sentiment, right? But I'm going to be honest here, right? This game, this game had the potential to be like, you. they could have built a world, they could have given us in-game skins that were tied to in-game lore events that made us feel part of the world. The thing is, though, they took the cheat way out. They're gone, no, this isn't, this, this game is just a wrapper 
for a skin monetization platform and we want this to be the most <laughs> ridiculously monetized we want to rinse our player base we don't want to take the time and the effort developing systems that are actually new and innovative i'm sure the developers out there want to do that i can't imagine there's a dev sitting there going well gee whiz i really like our gilded recolors they're great no the devs that have got the passion the devs that care are the ones that are working on things you know that are integral to the game maybe they're trying to put things forward i'm sure there's been a lot of devs who have gone hey well, let's work on this and blizzard have gone no we're not going to do that and then they maybe sit back and go oh shit Look at this. We've got this new recolor system for Mythic skins. Well, we know where their priorities lie. It is a, it is, it is sad. I mean, if you just go and look at the shop, everything in this game, all its marketing, absolutely everything, is about buying skins, buy, buy skins. Because you, we, we know, we know from things like the Jason Schreier book um, that Overwatch was appealing to the money man because it's got these incredible hero designs that people get connected to. And then people want to spend money on them. And they wanted to monetize them forever. They tried to monetize the hero at the start of Overwatch 2 by basically making you buy them to get access to them. Yeah, there were ways around it by playing a ton of games. You basically had to buy them to get access to them through the Battle Pass. To eventually relenting on that and go, no, actually, we'll give people the heroes. Now, I put my conspiracy theorist hat on and I go, why did they do that? Did they do that out of the goodness of their heart? Or did they realize, actually, the more people that have got the heroes correlates to more people buying skins for the heroes. So if we just give them the heroes for free, we actually sell more of our skin recallers. Because let's do that, right? And the other piss and like, annoying thing that, that really fucks me off with this game is all those older players, right? Those got like 50 million plus players played the original Overwatch 1, yeah? They are the players they should have been looking at servicing, then building out from that. But they just have completely gone in the opposite direction and gone, no, we just want players who are used to coming into a game and going, oh, that's how much skins cost, whatever, it's free to play, I play the game and I buy skins. And they don't realise about all of these like sinister tricks that they use time and time and time again. And they always come up with a new sinister trick. That's the problem. And the gilded aspects is just the latest sinister trick. Like, what? What are we going to get next? Gilded weapon aspects? I bet we are. I bet we are. We actually kind of do anyway. They sell weapon skins. Or do they sell weapon skins anymore? Because they don't seem to be making them anymore. They just make mythic ones. Because guess what? You can sell them for a lot more money. I tell you what, guys. I've got a new innovation. Let's do gilded UI colors. Yeah, yeah. Gilded icons. Let's sell icon packs. What about gilded player portraits? Oh, my God. Let's gild everything. It's crazy. So like, what the hell? But even if you look at the store, right? You see, it's just, it's just like, it's just crap. I hate all this, this stuff. I, I just like, whatever. I hate the whole thing. <laughs> I literally hate the whole thing. I understand it's free to play. I understand it's got to make money somehow. But this is like, guys, you can, you can have skins, right? You can sell skins. I ain't against that. But what I'm against is when I look at actually what is the new content in the game. And I'm like, the biggest thing you're essentially pushing is just gilded skins. I'm like, come on. What even is this? Like, come on. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing, Blizzard? You, I would be losing my mind if I was on this development team or anywhere near it. I'd be like, guys, we've got such a beautiful thing here in Overwatch. Nothing can touch it, yet we're wasting all of our effort and all of our time pissing about with stupid waves to rinse people. We, we, oh, God, this just drives me crazy. It honestly drives me crazy because, I, I, you know, I know people who watch this video going, oh, this guy's just going over the top. I'm not going over the top because the problem with all this shit is it incentivizes them to do more of this shit instead of other stuff, right? They're not going to add innovative new features that take time to develop because screw that let's just recall the mythic skins and sell them i bet you if the data was available for these mythic skins and how much money they have made you would probably well i would probably die it would be disgusting it's got to be disgusting it has to be disgusting let me know what you think about this guys in the comments below but i'm just really pissed off like i think overwatch doesn't treat itself or it's not treated seriously by the people in charge whether that's you know, the people at the top of the Overwatch team, the people at the top of Blizzard, I don't know. But it just seems like there's a lot here that they could be working with and they are taking the piss with the game. And I've said it before and I will say it again. The reason this game has been as popular as it has been is, yeah, it's got solid gameplay, but the hero designs are incredible and the world is incredible. People keep coming back because they're connected to those characters. And it seems like instead of developing them and fleshing them out and working on that, they're just going, hey, let's just go for crazy recolors, new Currencies, all of that bullshit. It is so depressing. It really is. It's just like, guys, the opportunity here, it just feels so wasted. Oh, my days.